Behavioural crime, harassment, stalking, controlling and coercive behaviour. What do we mean by harassment, stalking, controlling or coercive behaviour? Harassment comprises a series of incidents that may not amount to the commission of a substantive offence per se, but when looked at as a course of conduct are likely to cause fear, alarm or distress. Stalking comprises a series of incidents that cause serious alarm or distress, and the suspect ought to have known this. Stalking can include loitering in places the victim frequents, sending gifts, repeatedly contacting the victim, and monitoring a victim's email and internet use. Controlling behaviour is a range of acts designed to make a person subordinate and or dependent by isolating them from sources of support, exploiting their resources and capabilities for personal gain, depriving them of the means needed for independence, resistance and escape, and regulating their everyday behaviour. Coercive behaviour is a continuing act or pattern of acts of assault, threats or humiliation, and intimidation or other abuse used to harm, punish or frighten the victim. When do we record these as crimes? When the series contains substantive crimes as well as amounting to a behaviour crime, then the most serious substantive crime is needed, as well as the behaviour crime. A single incident of harassment, stalking, controlling or coercive behaviour may not amount to a crime on its own. However, taken as a series of individual incidents, they represent a behavioural crime. If there are further acts of harassment, stalking, controlling or coercive behaviour between the same parties, i.e. after it's been reported to the police, and no formal action has yet been taken, i.e. caution, charge, etc., then any further acts are added to the original behaviour crime, with the dates and MO updated to cover the new behaviour. They should not be recorded as a new crime. If the police have already taken action, then a new crime or crimes should be recorded. If the further acts constitute other crimes as well, then the most serious other crime is required too. Here are a number of examples and what action should be taken in each case. Example 1. A female reports that she has been stalked by her ex-husband, who has followed her home on several occasions, and that on the most recent occasion, when she challenged him over his actions, he assaulted her, causing injuries amounting to GBH. One crime of stalking and one crime of GBH. Later that week, the female reports being followed on a further two occasions and a further assault amounting to ABH by the offender, and no action has yet been taken by the police in regard to stalking. Record a crime of ABH, but not another stalking. Update the previously recorded harassment stalking to evidence the continuing course of behaviour. A month later, after the offender has been cautioned for stalking and the other offences, the victim reports the offender is stalking her at work and has damaged her car. Two new crimes, one crime class of stalking and one crime of damage. Example 2. An elderly person is harassed by a group of five children acting together. At least two related collective behaviours amounting to one course of conduct demonstrated for each. One crime of harassment. Example 3. The same person is harassed by five children, acting independently on separate occasions, all of whom has been responsible for at least two incidents, each amounting to one course of conduct, five crimes of harassment. Example 4. A victim reports that her husband has repeatedly told her that she is worthless, forbidden her from seeing her family, and on one occasion assaulted her, causing injuries amounting to GBH. One crime of controlling and coercive behaviour, and one crime of GBH. Remember, behavioural crimes are often committed where there is no substantive other crime. However, together they still represent a behavioural crime. If more than one behavioural crime is made out, then you should consider them in this priority. Stalking, harassment with violence, S4, controlling and coercive, Harassment without violence, S2.